And now we are rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And where the heck are we on this? Let's leave the ball on the palms, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release and squeeze. And release and squeeze and release, and we'll go around the back and switch and switch and switch, switch, switch. And let's go through the legs. Switch. <laughs> and we'll put the ball on the ground. Let's just have a feet of feeling. And step on it right in the middle of the ball. Pressing down three times. And moving it up to knuckles. Pressing once on each, going across. And rolling it across the knuckles. And I bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggling the toes. And pressing the toes into the wall. Separate the toes. Press again. Wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one, release and reassess. Go to the other foot. There's that ball. <laughs> and step down three times. Knuckles. Roll across. Middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Rest the toes into the ball. Lift and separate. Press. Wiggle. And screw. Three, two, one, uh, release, get rid of the ball, reassess, and shake the tree.
center and twist it away, swinging the arms. And center. And you stop that. Theme. We're going to do the Michael Wynn energy grounding exercise. So we're going to move from side to side, shifting our weight and moving our hands in front of the spine up and down. Three, two, one, and center. Deep breath. And let's walk or march or jog. We're going to do uh, back pushes big four today with or without some sort of weight in the hand. A lot of squats involved in that, so I wouldn't do rapid squats here. Whatever you do to pick up your heart rate, including exactly what you're doing, just be safe. I'll hop on my toes. And we've got yin yoga in the upper class. I'm going to start in five, four, three, two, one, two. Okay. And thirty. Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise them up over the head, reach up, squeeze the glutes, come on back down, bend back, if you can. Back to center, bend to one side. Then the other. Come on back. Lower the hands out. Press out at the chest. Come on down. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Raise the hands, squeeze shoulder blades together. Go a little bit higher. And come on down and shrug. And roll back. And make a W. 
squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold and release, squeeze and release one more time. And release. We're going to massage the trapezius. And the rear deltoid. And then the other trapezius. And the other rear deltoid. And then let's swim. Make it a backstroke. And a breaststroke. And bring one arm across the body, press in at the elbow. And then the other. First arm behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. Grab both elbows or rock side to side. Come on down and rotate the neck. Reverse direction. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Tuck in the chin, look to one side, drop the chin to the collarbone, and lift it up. Come back to center, still tucked, look the other way. Drop the chin, lift it up. Back to center and let's do side lunge. Side lunge the other way. Bring the feet together. Hinge at the waist, hands dropped, spine neutral. And come on up, turn to one side. Push down on the heel behind. Reverse and get the other cat. Yeah. 
And come on up and grab a stick. And hold on a second. We're going to do the booyah stick routine. So we're going to do some flip flops. And pause and push out in the big circle. And then reverse. And then go laterally in one direction. And then the other. And bring the stick behind the back and the crook of the elbows. And rotate. And back if you can. Come forward, tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. Bring the stick up to the neck. Rotate the trunk, keep the head and shoulders facing forward, as well as the uh, hips. Head and hips. And then bring the stick up overhead and down below the waist and then back up overhead and if you can behind the back. And then pause at the shoulders and flop the wrists. And then push out. And then bring the stick to one side and bring it behind the back. And then the other. And bring it to the middle. Step back, holding on with one hand, two hands, or a couple of fingers. And come on up on your toes for the count of 17. And then back on your heels for 17. Oh, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Back down. Take the stick. Now we're going to do the balance exercise. You can keep uh, keep it on the ground and hold on with one hand or two hands if you'd like, or bring it up to your chest and start by putting all the weight on one foot except for a toe on the ground there. And then if you can, just start to lift that up. Move it around if you can. And if you want, start moving the stick too. And down. Same thing with the other foot, but again, put the stick on the ground and use it to help if you need. Three, two, one, and now, all right, let's put the sticks down. If you're going to use a weight for the sack push exercises, grab them. You could use a couple of bottles or cans or dumbbells or nothing at all. Four moves again, squat, raise around the clock, either outside or through the middle or both, and then a press. We're going to do uh, 10 of each, and uh, we'll start slower, pick up a little speed, and then a little bit more speed on the third round, three rounds. We're going to move where we do the squats, but we're gonna start with squats. Ready, let's do it. One, two, only go as low as you feel comfortable doing, as always. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, and raises. And around the clock. And in some presses. And then bring them down and take a couple of breaths. Rest, we're gonna start with the raises, then do the squats and so on. It'll be a little bit faster starting now. And down, um, and now squats. And 
And around the clock, I'll go through the middle. And finally, some raises. And bring the hands down, rest, take some breaths. And then the final round, we're going to do hand raises, round the clock, squats, and then some presses. Ready? Raises. And around the clock. Squats. And presses. And a oh, couple of deep breaths. Recover there before we do our breath exercise of the week which is the four, seven, eight breath the ground, a great relaxing breath and one to do if you're having trouble trying to get to sleep. But um, Andrew Weil also suggests you do it every morning, starting with uh, the four that we're gonna do, four rounds and every night, four rounds. I think you can break, progress, uh, he says, up to as many as seven or eight. But uh, what we're gonna do is inhale to the count of four, hold to the count of seven, and then exhale to the count of eight, and then come right back with four, seven, eight. Ready, inhale. And rub those hands together. Automatic chi and forming a chi ball. Just moving us around, shifting our weight. 
from one channel to the other, like water flowing. And center, two breaths. And let's open our hearts. Pause on that inhale. <laughs> And send it out. Center. Two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. Go down and gather it up. <laughs> Ow. And ah. <laughs> Namaste. Cat got your knee? <laughs> you can't get my butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, thanks, Tom. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank that was you, Tom. <laughs> Take care, thank Mira. You. Thanks. Marlene, we got uh, yin yoga, if you can hang around. Hello, Maureen, and happy birthday. I thought the Thank you, Jay. early Thank party you. took you away. <laughs> All right. Uh, yin yoga. I'm going to put on a timer. I'm going to meet you on the floor. We're going to start with uh, cat position. And show the sound is up. Switching cameras. And see you in 13 seconds. All right, this should be interesting. And catch.
and death. Sit on here. Or the middle. Yeah, you
these two threads. Whoops. And these to chest. Thanks, T. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a good day. 